So what if Samsung could fix what people complain about most with its foldables this year? As yes, we get uh, new reports on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 that make it more and more enticing. Prep your wallets, as by the time you watch this video, Apple might make a silent announcement. And what if Sony decided to launch another crazy product you might actually want to consider this time? I'm Jaime Rivera, and Mondays are not made for people to take them easily. But it is what it is. This is Pocket Out Daily, powered by Blue Eddy. The official news today begin with Sony and a new throwback to one of its most iconic products. For anyone looking for high quality audio out of a phone, that still doesn't exist, but maybe this product could help and stay tuned for an amazing product name as we can expect from Sony as the company just launched the NWA306 Walkman, uh, which according to them is designed for listeners to hear the music in the way the artist intended with high quality sound and a sleek design powered by Android. It features a 3.6 inch touch display for easy navigation, Wi-Fi compatibility, tactile physical controls, thank you, a battery that provides up to 36 hours of listening time, and a premium aluminum frame that provides rigidity for low impedance and clear stable sound and solid bass. The new Walkman runs on Android 12.2 and has Bluetooth 5.0 support to connect with your wireless earbuds or headphones if you're looking for convenience instead of quality as well, though there is a walkaround for that. See, one of its main features is that it includes S-Master HX digital amp technology that reduces distortion and noise across a wide range of frequencies for rich and full-bodied sound. It also uses Edge AI and the digital sound enhancement engine, which accurately upscales compressed digital music files to higher quality. Now, as for the price, I really thought this was gonna cost like a thousand bucks as they usually do, but no, it seems it'll be 400 euros. Not bad, Tony, not bad, just get a better name. Now let's talk about Apple as some changes could happen to the display of their upcoming devices. It's weird but interesting as Mark Gurman reported that the company has spent about six years developing micro LED technology for what will become the first display custom design by the company itself, mirroring what they have done with Apple Silicon. And no, this is not mini LED. This is the expensive micro LED that Samsung uses on their $100,000 TVs. They're crazy expensive and crazy great. So apparently after all these years of development, the first device to feature that custom display would be a new version of the Apple Watch Ultra that could arrive next year. The new display is intended to offer improved brightness, color reproduction, and viewing angles, making images look more like if they're painted on top of the display glass, and at the same time replace parts currently supplied by companies like Samsung and LG, even if this is a Samsung technology. Weird though is, yeah, if you thought that OLED was better, that's not necessarily the case. The price difference is very different. Gurman also said that after debuting in 2024's Apple Watch Ultra, Cupertino will expand the micro LED to iPhone, potentially the iPad, the Mac, during the next years, but we'll see what happens as Gurman claims that it could take a decade before all products adopt this technology due to its complexity at this stage as a, yeah, it is, again, expensive. I seriously take this with a grain of salt, but I mean, why not? That'd be great. I just hope the prices don't go up after this. Moving on, let's stick to Apple because it seems like we'll have new devices as of tomorrow or today by the time you're watching this video. According to a new report, Apple is planning to make its first product announcement of uh, 2023 through a press release on its website on Tuesday, January 17th, aka today or tomorrow. Uh, whenever you're watching this. The announcement could be the first of several products that are expected to arrive soon. It seems that what we can expect so far is a 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro update. And it's reported that both devices or whatever models they bring will feature the same design as before with only updated performance thanks to an M2 Pro and M2 Max chips. And I've also heard faster storage and RAM. An updated Mac mini is also expected to make the cut. And uh, again, same design, only new chips. Now, apparently the launch is a bit interesting. Mac rumors is claiming that uh, briefings for press could happen next week. Not exactly sure about that, but uh, we'll keep you posted as my wallet is not ready and I'm sure nobody's is. Today's episode of the Pocket Now Daily is sponsored by Blue Eddy. We've just spent some quality time at their booth back at CES 2023, having a look at their EP900. Think of this as modular energy that's enough to power your whole house, which is a good thing to consider with the latest winter power outages. Using sine wave output, you can go from nine kilowatt hours with a single B500 battery, all the way up to 39.6 with eight B500s. This is a simple all-in-one energy storage system that can be 
be integrated into your house using solar powered systems or even AC wiring that switches instantly like a UPS when power fails. It's easy to install indoors or outdoors and you can move it around so no need for wall mounting. Best of all, you get a 10 year warranty and you can use the Blue Eddy application to monitor the system remotely. Click the first link in the description to learn more about what makes the modular Blue Eddy EP900 with B500 battery so special. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Samsung since we have a new report on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 because it is that time of year. I know, early. As we all know, one of Samsung's issues with its foldables has always been the noticeable crease on the display. But it seems like that is about to change. We have a new report claiming that Sammy will bring a new water drop hinge mechanism to the upcoming Z Fold 5 that will help eliminate the screen crease while allowing the panel to fold completely flat. The new hinge mechanism will see the folding mechanism from a droplet shape inside the hinge body, preventing uh, the crease between the two side panels. We've seen this before from Motorola, Oppo, and others. I really hope that the company figures this out on the Z Fold because it would be great for Samsung to bring this feature that we've already seen on other foldables, again from Oppo on the Find Then 2, Motorola, others. The report also mentions that despite having a new hinge mechanism, the Korean company will retain the IPX8 water resistance that uh, makes the Galaxy Z Fold series so special in addition to the S Pen. Now moving on to other areas of the phone, apparently we are getting a photography king as well. 108 megapixel sensor on the back that would support OIS and dual pixel autofocus alongside a 64 megapixel telephoto sensor and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. Finally, the report goes on to mention that the Z Fold 5 will adopt the S Pen slot, which would be amazing. But in today's question, let us know. What would you want from the Z Fold 5 from Samsung? Because in my case, I want all this. But man, if they could just drop the price a little, that would be even greater. That's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me deal with Mondays. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.